about the last three court cases we didn't get a chance to highlight yesterday because they are significant. I think it's important to mention. Uh, the first case, the, the third case we had, or I should say fourth case, duh, uh, involved a school newspaper where three students uh, at the Fingerstan Daily News, of course at the high school there, uh, had put, wanted to publish an article about the impact of divorce on students and how teen, teen pregnancy impacts the lives of students. Uh, then the article included some new interviews with students and some family members uh, that uh, was put into the article. Uh, the principal pulls the article and says, sorry, you cannot publish this. We're going to censor it. Uh, the girls went to court to say they should be allowed to publish it. And uh, they thought it should be, uh, you know, freedom of the press. Uh, let's take a look at the results. The court case was called Colmeyer versus uh, Heiselwood versus Colmeyer. It was a close decision, five to three vote. Uh, there's only eight Supreme Court justices at the time. They hadn't, hadn't approved the ninth one, or I forget why he wasn't on there. We have to look that up. Uh, but anyways, in the in the end of the story, the five justices in the majority said that the principal does, and st these teachers do have authority to censor newspaper articles when they may be protecting the safety of the school and the students who attend it, whether, and maybe the content would not be appropriate for that age group as determined by the adults. So there's limited rights of freedom of the press and when we're talking about a school newspaper. Uh, case number six involves young Paul Harvey. He's at Finkelstein Middle School. He wants to go out for the football team. And the school was requiring a drug test that he had to be tested uh, to see if he's, if he's doing any drugs before he could play. And we're not just talking like steroids. We're talking uh, any type of illegal drugs. And this policy was in place not only for sports, but also for different uh, things like chorus or band or whatever. Uh, extracurricular activities and in the case uh, this really did happen uh, and um, it was called uh, Board of Education of Pottawatomie County versus Earls. It was a close vote five to four. The Supreme Court said uh, that it was not an illegal search. Uh, it was allowed to be done by the student, by the school district I should say, uh, in the effort of keeping uh, students uh, safe and free of drugs and things like that. Uh, and uh, the student was arguing that it was an illegal search, like it was a Fourth Amendment issue. What just cause, what reasonable cause did they have for searching him for drugs? He's just going after the sport. He wasn't like that girl in the other case who was caught smoking and things like that. So this is a lot to do. And at times, our high school has done some drug testing of people, believe it or not. All right, last one, just to highlight here real quick. Oh, I went back in there. Last one to highlight, I'm just click ahead here. Uh, this speech that won't be forgotten, uh, Finkelstan's middle school, Bobby Wyans, uh, wanted to give this speech uh, to in front of the entire grade. He wanted to run for class president. He put a speech that contained, like you can see here, several jokes and words and themes that teacher told him were inappropriate. Uh, he uses some not bad words, but kind of like innuendo that people knew he was making inappropriate things, some references that were inappropriate for school in his speech in front of the in front of the whole school. Uh, people are laughing and carrying on and hooting and hollering at his speech. Uh, te three teachers had told him that it probably was inappropriate, but they didn't actually they didn't stop him from giving the speech. Interestingly enough, uh, Bobby got called down. He got suspended from school, and he wasn't going to be allowed to be school president. Uh, and he got in some trouble. Uh, do you think that was free speech issue? Uh, in the end, this key, this case was called Bethel School District versus a kid named Matthew Frazier. Uh, you can look the speech up a little in a little bit. Uh, and in a seven to two vote, the Supreme Court ruled that uh, it's not freedom of speech. Per, that when you say, "Hey, I'm giving the speech," it does prohibit vulgar and rude speech inside the school setting where there's young people it's language that's not maybe seen as appropriate for it to be used in the classroom setting uh, that might be rude or it says they're vulgar and against the fundamental values of public school education actually two of the justices said it should have been allowed basically they said uh, it didn't disrupt school it just was an assembly and people were laughing and carrying on so it wasn't like shutting down the whole school it was one speech you know what i mean so interestingly enough uh two voted in support of matthew frazier but they did set the precedent that the school does have the right to prohibit the use of vulgar and offensive language uh, to keep, you know, help keep school running smoothly and not have outbursts and crazy things going on in school. 
Uh, so those are some of the most famous decisions that impact us at school.